It's just everywhere. It's under my house. It's in my yard. It's in the garden. It's just scary to see it all coming at you. Absolutely. In Sevier County, a lot of water is still hanging around after flooding in East Tennessee over the last couple of weeks. 10 News reporter Katie Inman spoke to a woman in her 80s whose driveway has turned into a river, forcing her to walk a plank to get to her car. Katie. Well, would you believe it? All of this water where 82 year old Shirley Doan's driveway used to be, there's a steady stream flowing into her property from the other side of the road. And this isn't the first time this has happened. She wants a solution solution so she can stop teetering across that water. Well, it makes you nervous for 82 year old Shirley Doan. I think that hope it quits before it gets here, but sometimes it don't. Walking this plank. That's my bridge is her way of getting over the flooding. It's, it's just everywhere. It's under my house. It's in my yard. It's in the garden. It's just scary to see it all coming at you. This grandmother has to balance on a strip of plywood to get from her house to dry land. Well, I always tell them I'll be careful. But that doesn't stop her loved ones from worrying. Well, I'm worried about the water situation for her, the mold that would be in her house and and her crossing the water here and it's just very unsafe for Miss Shirley. It started when the storms hit this month. Her sons laid sandbags, but there's still water seeping into her house. Well, I don't really know how to start. You just see water coming across that road and you know you can't get out. This same thing happened last year during the February 2019 floods in East Tennessee. But this year, after a stranger posted Shirley's situation on Facebook, more people have been reaching out to try and help. Well, you feel good when you know that people understand a little of it. it it's hard for them to understand. I know on one thing they thought I needed money, but money will, won't dry this water up. Until something's done to fix how this water's drained, Shirley's just putting one foot in front of the other. It's harder. I keep going, but it's harder. Now, to really get this issue fixed, there will need to be some sort of intervention. TDOT says this isn't an issue with the state road, and it would be up to the county to fix it. The family has been in contact with the county commissioner. Robin and John. Plain and simple. Hopefully, it will just get fixed. All right. Mm -hmm. Katie, thank you.